BTS is making Beatles size moves. Childish Gambino almost made an epic Drake diss track. We find out the truth behind Harry's possible Prince Eric role. And we've got the first interview with Lil Mosey after being found not guilty. It's Wednesday, April 5th. Welcome back to Billboard News. I'm your host, Tetris, and the boys of BTS are reaching Beatles heights. The Beatles, the Supremes, BTS. Let's talk about the history BTS just made thanks to Jimin's like crazy. BTS soloist Park Jimin just topped the Billboard Hot 100 with his debut single, Like Crazy, which helped his group, BTS, join some legendary company. With BTS having six Hot 100 number ones like Dynamite and Butter, and Jimin now having his first solo number one, they now join the ranks of the Supremes and the Beatles. All three of those groups have at least six number ones, with one member having led the list solo. Paul McCartney has nine number ones. Diana Ross has six. And if he can fight off all his offs, how many can Jimin amass? For more on this huge accomplishment, hit Billboard.com. We're just finding out about what could have been a huge Drake diss track, and thank God that it didn't go that direction. Donald Glover broke down his biggest roles for GQ, and his musician alter ego, Childish Gambino, almost made a Drake diss track instead of his biggest hit. Childish Gambino's This Is America soared to number one on the Hot 100, but it could have been a completely different song. Started as a, the idea for the song started as a joke. To be completely honest, like, this is America, like, that was all we had, was like, that line. This is America, don't got you slipping up, look how I'm living up. And it started as a Drake diss, to be honest. <laughs> it's like, I was like, as a, as like a funny way of like doing it, but then I was like, this sounds kind of hard though. Glover revealed to GQ that the song came together at the perfect moment culturally and artistically with all the necessary people involved. We are the world, <laughs> like for trap. I was like that. Just it just became something where I was like, yo, it it needs to feel like all of it. To me, culture is just compression of information. So I was like, all of it just needs to be compressed into this moment. So what was happening needed to feel like it could only be happening right now. He drew inspiration from Michael Jackson's Thriller and Robbie Williams for the final product, and he had a hit on his hands. From one of Donald Glover's best roles to the big one, Harry Styles didn't get. Was there a world where Harry Styles would have played Prince Eric in The Little Mermaid? Well, not really, according to the singer. If you're feeling down, I just wanna make you happier, baby. Director Rob Marshall explained in a new interview with Entertainment Weekly why Harry Styles didn't end up playing Prince Eric in the upcoming live action version of The Little Mermaid. We met with him, he was lovely, but at the end of the day, Harry really felt like he wanted to go off and do the movies that he ended up doing which are sort of darker. The roles Rob was referring to are Harry's leads in the sci-fi thriller Don't Worry Darling and the LGBTQ drama My Police. The director went on to say, for a lot of young musical people like Harry, you're trying to carve your way and you don't want to be seen as a singer necessarily. That's why he was really looking to do something not in the musical genre to really stretch himself. So it looks like it was Harry's decision to not play Eric. Now we've got to get to this Lil Mosey interview. He was just found not guilty in the court of law and Billboard's Carl Lamar sat down with him to see what's next. You were found not guilty, not guilty, uh, second degree rape earlier this month. Talk about this ordeal, cause it's been a two year whole thing for you. How have you mentally been dealing with the whole process? Well, I mean, it's been tough. It's definitely been tough mentally. Like, uh, I kinda just had to like rebuild my whole life. It sucks like to have something like that be attached to my name, knowing I didn't do it. And like the whole world can see that the jury found me not guilty. It's just tough. And I'm grateful for the fans that have been here and all the support they've, they've shown. I just love music. Yeah. I want to be a part of everything. I just got back into producing. I've only put out one song that I produced, or two actually. But I want to definitely get back into the producing side. I want to build my label up, build my artists up. I just want to do everything. I want to be full hands-on while I'm still being the best artist I can be. 
That's it for today's show. Now tomorrow we've got a deep dive into the Anita vs. Warner label drama. We'll see you then. I'm Tetris Kelly and this is Billboard News.